Hey guys, thanks for checking back into the channel. Well, I am out at the range today with my PCC AR9. Now this is a pistol caliber carbine AR9 that I put together as a budget build on a standard AR15 lower. Now this is an AR-15 lower that's got an adapter in here so I can use these Glock magazines uh, to shoot 9mm rounds out of this, this upper. Now I've got this upper set up right now with a uh, heavy buffer in here. I got a buffer from heavybuffers.com. This is their HX buffer running an AR-10 spring and it shoots really pretty good. It shoots well enough to entice me to build actually another AR-9 and I'll get more to that in a bit here. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try out this pin shot hydraulic short stroke buffer in the rifle and see if there's any difference with that buffer compared to this heavy buffer in here. It's going to help me decide what I want to put in the other build and maybe lead into this build too. So I'm going to do a little bit of shooting setup right now with the standard heavy buffer. Now this buffer is and spring uh, are right around eight ounces. So it's about a half pound buffer. Um, way heavier than your standard AR buffer. So I'm going to shoot a couple rounds with that, get some feel for it, and then throw that hydraulic buffer from Kinshot in and back to back and see if I notice a difference. I'm going to start out with sending five rounds down this range and I'm going to use this block and shoot supported. I want to try to see if there's any difference in accuracy from the reduced or changes in the recoil in doing this. So let's uh, get my ears on here. Let's lock and load. Now the thing with this budget build AR9 put together on this uh, AR15 lower is I do not have a last round bolt catch to hold my bolt open. Um, so yeah, that's one of the uh, things you deal with when you do the budget builds. But let's send these down range again. This is the Heavy Buffer from uh, heavybuffers.com. It's an HX buffer running an AR-10 spring, and I've got five rounds up in here. So help if we pop our sights up right. All right. All right, I'm going to double check that uh, we have a clear chamber in here. Now I'm going to switch out this buffer. I'm not sure if YouTube will actually allow me to show you guys uh, the process of doing that. So I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to throw this, this kin shot, short shot, short stroke um, AR9 hydraulic buffer in and see if it makes a difference. All righty, I've got the kin shot uh, hydraulic buffer all set up in the rifle. And uh, in case you guys are wondering what ammunition I'm shooting, this is what I'm firing out of the rifle right here. We've got five more rounds all set up in it. Move the camera back a little bit. I was kind of slicing my head off on that. First little bit of footage. Have not shot this rifle with this pistol with this in it yet. So um, you guys are going to get to see this live. It definitely is a shorter uh, pullback on this. So you can see I was really trying to pull the bolt back uh, a lot farther. This uh, short stroke, uh, it says it's only a quarter inch or so different, but um, well, let's see how she fires here. Again, I've got five rounds in and well, let's see how it goes. That's how it goes. We were doing good on the first several. We got stove pipe here. And now we got an issue. Let's get this out of here. All right, so we got a little misspeed that caused us to lose one here. Pop this last. Actually, you know what? Before I send this round down there, we don't want to do that. Let's put this back in. Now we got one hot in the chamber and we got this round back in our Glock mag here. So let's send these down and let's, let's see how she does.
Well, definitely another issue. Failure to eject. So we're running into some problems with this kin shot in here. That was our number five. I'm gonna double check our chamber and it did not eject. So we had a failure to eject a couple times. Not sure if it has to do with the short stroke or possibly with the uh, AR spring that's in there. I'm gonna check my bag and see if I brought uh, a regular AR spring or pull one out of the one of the other rifles I brought with me. So let me stop this camera and we'll send a couple more down. Now, getting back to the recoil, the purpose of uh, doing this, not sure if you can tell on the footage here, but I'll get these things off, I'm probably yelling, but the recoil is definitely, I don't know if reduced is the right word. It is the impulse from the bolt coming back is lessened in a way that um, it's deadened, I guess, if that makes any sense. So I do like this Kinshot bolt. I do not like that I'm getting misfeeds from it. So let me try another spring in here. I'm gonna, I, I don't think they recommend using this definitely with the AR-10 spring. So let me try this out with a regular AR-15 spring and see if it solves that problem. All right, got five more. I'll load it all up. Let's get them in here. There we go. Now we got, again, we've got the Kinshot hydraulic buffer and a standard buffer spring with five rounds this time. Looking for no misfeeds or no failure to eject. And we got another one right off the bat. All right. So what I'm gonna do, got an empty chamber here. Now I'm gonna take the kin shot back out. I'll put this back in with this, the first setup, and see if it fires fine or if we're just having ammunition problems today. But this ammo shot fine last time I was out. So let me switch this all around again. Let's go back to the original setup and see how it fires. Everything's switched back to the original configuration. I have got the four rounds that I did not fire uh, first time around. Put those back in our Glock mag. And she takes it fine now. Uh, and let's see how we do. We got four rounds in. Original configuration with the heavy buffer and the AR-10. Heavier spring. Well, we got the original affordable setup. And we got Mr. Fancy here, Mr. Kin Shop Buffer that is causing us issues. I don't know the issue. I do know that this buffer weighs approximately the same as that heavy buffer that I have in there. This buffer is longer and it is designed to shorten the bolt stroke uh, for a quicker rapid fire type. Not sure why this isn't working. If you know, hit me up in that comment section and let me know. I'm going to have to do a little bit more testing and kind of uh, screwing around with things. But this Kinshot buffer is definitely something I want to use. Uh, I get an impulse with the rifle with that that heavier spring when I fire it. Uh, the recoil itself's not bad, but there's this bounce that you get with that. This Kinshot kind of dullens that bouncy feel that you know, that you get from an AR spring. So I really do like this kin shot, but I really do not like that it's not working right now. So we're gonna keep doing some testing with this, see if I can come up with a solution. Let me know if you guys have a solution or if you've dealt with this situation before. Now again, this is part number RB5020SS, and there's a 23206 after it. So if you've used one of these kin shot uh, short cycling, um, buffers. 
not sure if you can see the ready on there. Let me know what your solution was in your AR9 because my ammunition is working fine. The pistol itself is shooting fine. This is the determining factor that's causing me issues. So hey, thanks for checking back into the channel. And I always say, keep on shooting.